we just found it online, put an offer in lower than what um, it had been listed for, and they were motivated and decided to to go with what we had offered. Uh, so we got it at a, a decent price, but yeah, it's just through domain that we got it. Absolutely, yeah, we had done it before in uh, a nearby suburb, so we knew pretty much who our demographic was. Um, we had a timeline, so we're in week 12. I'm actually in there today, so I'm in the car because it's so cold here. Um, but we had a 12 week timeline as the maximum amount of time we wanted to spend on it. Eight weeks was the minimum. And, and I think that's probably one of the key learnings for us is that during this really unstable time, you might need that extra buffer. Um, so I'm glad we accounted for it, but we've just gone in, uh, We've kept the layout basically the same. We've, we've changed a couple of little things um, to tidy it up and we've kept, we've got a bedroom wing and then the living quarters, um, but it doesn't look the same property at all. At the moment, there, there was a lull when the elections were called, um, but for us, I think we're gonna be okay. They have noticed that the numbers are picking back up again they're quite confident with a reasonable sales figure uh, beyond what we had estimated for. So I think we're probably going to be better off than, than what we had expected. Um, I would assume that there would be some sort of an adjustment with the market, but having said that, it's a popular area. People are still moving out of Sydney. It's still an hour and a half from Sydney. So um, I, I still feel like that regional push is, is still very much there. So we, I think it was listed at um, 895,000 and I think we got it at 830. Um, so yeah, I, I still believe that was under the market value, particularly for the area that it's in. It's um, an older street, but there's a new estate, uh, a street back roughly. And those houses are, are easily in the one three to the one five mark. Um, and the positioning of the street is quite good as well. So the street itself is in a safe area in a, with desirable houses nearby, um, but also the outlook of the house itself is, is quite good. Yeah, I had actually looked for a house for myself, um, literally one street away. So I have been following this area for, for quite a few years. And yeah, so we, we knew the area quite well. Um, and yeah, def, definitely knew that this was a, a decent buy anyway. Uh, we spent more than we had planned to. I think our budget was 88,000, including the contingency. Um, at the moment, I think we're around the 101 mark, so a little bit over. But having said that, I think we're going to be um, pulling in a lot higher than what we had estimated as well. We were conservative. Um, I, I guess the difference in last year's market to this year and, and also uh, the materials, the suppliers themselves and all the tradies that, that basically everyone's prices seem to have gone up. Um, but having said that, I think we've, we've pulled off a decent, uh, decent job really. Like there's a complete new kitchen, absolutely stunning bathroom and laundry. Um, the bedrooms have all been updated. We've got fat, soft furnishings. It's like the whole entire lot has had a complete makeover. And again, I feel confident that um, we'll be getting around the one, two, one, three mark. Sure, I haven't looked at the figures this week, but I think it will be around 70K each, 70 to 80K each possibly. Yeah, around that mark. It'll, it will depend on what, we haven't actually sold in this suburb before. So though we've worked in the Highlands, we haven't sold in Mossvale itself before. So if we're, if we're calculating around that, that um, one, two, one, three mark, we should get, I'd say we'll get set between the 70 and 80 K mark. Yes, definitely would. Um, I would choose somewhere closer to home. So that was a big thing for the two of us. We were traveling a lot. And when you've got a particular amount of hours you can spend on it each week, that travel time uh, was definitely something that I'd consider. So, I'd still do the Highlands, just a different part of it. Um, in terms of suppliers, uh, we had realised that it would take a while for, um, say, kitchens and, and whatnot, but there were real supply issues. Some things we've still been told 
um, that different pieces won't be in until 2023. Um, so obviously that doesn't work for us. Um, so I guess having that awareness is, is critical. Um, I've since realized that there are much easier ways to come up say with a kitchen. Uh, we did an Ikea kitchen and it looks beautiful. Um, though I wouldn't use it next time because uh, just simply their supply issues and also the same with the bathroom um, company that we use, they took a little bit longer than they did last time. So I think I would reach out and do something different in terms of um, how we made up the kit, how we make up a kitchen. Uh, and so I do have a few ideas just from speaking with people. And so I think that was probably my biggest learning is just ask questions, ask anyone you come across um, that's going into your job site. Do you have any recommendations for such and such? Because that we've, we've got a definite plan of action for the next one. Um, so yeah, I would, I guess on the next one, it would just be, be aware that everyone is going to be charging more, um, have the awareness again, that, um, that your prices, your prices and, and just the delays, I guess. Absolutely. Yeah. I spent about three hours this morning before I got here, having a look at properties, um, for a development site and for a reno. There's, um, oh, there, there's just so many things out there that there would be no reason not to jump in and and do something I am a little bit aware that the market will be different in terms of the development and um, projecting that far in advance um, but I have been reviewing the property development program actually and looking at that um, percentage that you were stating in terms of what your profit level should be and and having more of an awareness of that and realizing that you can get out earlier uh, in the deal and not necessarily go through the complete build and still maintain a profit level. So playing with your numbers I've realized is important, but in terms of the reno um, compared to six months ago, I, I think as long as you're selling in the same market, it's not too big a deal. And, and seeing our renos are quick, uh, we're in and out in three, three to four months max. Um, I don't have a real big issue compared to say holding onto something for a year or so. Oh, so. I've had a lot of agents contact me. I don't, I don't know if it's fear or I, I'm still feel like the regional area is strong. Um, oh yeah, I, I can't say whether I whether I've noticed fear in them, but there there's heaps of opportunities. I'm constantly on the phone with agents and people that I've spoken to um, that have got properties for us to to either develop or to renovate so yeah, there's no supply issues whatsoever absolutely it's it's such a blessing for us in our market it's I don't know if it's specific for this area but um that's basically all people want here there's not many people and I guess this is knowing our area as well um not most people here like to just move straight in and everything's picture perfect for them uh, there's limited trades in the highlands and those tradies that that do live around the area aren't known to be uh, affordable or quick to even to quote and um, I think that's really to our, our advantage we have tradies coming in from the coast and from western Sydney to avoid those problems um, but it is it is a concern in the area they, that no one wants to renovate, and a lot of the houses are uh, sold unrenovated in their original state. So it, it's it's a goldmine for us, really.